Okay, so next is multiplying and dividing integers. Adding subtracting integers were actually probably harder. These guys are, I think, easier. Because it's really only one simple rule to follow, and it's a rule that we've already covered. Remember, the double sign rule. When the signs are the same, they become a positive. When the signs are different, they become a negative. So when you're multiplying and, and dividing integers, you figure out are the signs the same or different. If they're the same, the answer is positive. If they're different, the answer is negative. And then you just do the math. Here's what I'm talking about. Six times negative two. This is an imaginary positive sign outside here. So you have a positive and a negative. The signs are different. So the answer is going to be negative. Negative something. Negative what? Well, we'll just do the math. 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. So the answer is negative 12. Simple. Figure what sign it is, and then do the multiplication or division. Alright, for this one here. A negative and a negative. That means the same. So let's be positive. 5 times 5 is 25, so the answer is positive 25 or just plain old 25. Pretty simple stuff, eh? Alright. Take a look at this. Negative 18 divided by 3. Uh, this is the elementary school lame way of showing divided by. Please stop doing it this way. That's not how you do divided by in high school. Okay? But I'll do it just one last time. Signs are different because you have a negative and an imaginary positive here. So because they are different, the answer is negative something. So it's going to be negative. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. Negative 6. Okay, so if I don't want you to show the divided by signs like that, because that's lame elementary school, way of doing it, you show it with a sign like that. Negative 30 divided by negative 3 is the way you read that. Some of you think it's a fraction. Well, yeah, fractions, the line there means divided by. Same thing. So this means negative 30 divided by negative 3. Again, the first thing you look at, are the signs the same or different? They are the same, so it's positive. Don't want to put a positive sign, just leave it. 30 divided by 3 is 10, so it's positive 10 or just plain old 10. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty easy stuff. Until we get to a question like this. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And like I asked you to do in the previous lessons, when you have a question with more than one thing to do, underline the first thing you have to do your brain can focus on that and then do it and bring everything else down. So this is negative 2 times negative 2. Signs are the same so it's positive 2 times 2 which is 4. Bring down the rest. The multiply and the negative 2. Here you have a positive or imaginary positive and the negative so the signs are different so we know that Signs are different, it means it's negative. 4 times 2 is 8. Done. And then you get to a question like this negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Same deal. You have a whole bunch of things to do, the brain gets all confused. No worries. Underline the first step. Negative 2 times negative 2. Signs the same. It's positive. Positive what? Well, it's 2 times 2, which is 4. Then bring down this multiply. Bring down that. Bring down that. Bring down that. Do this next. 4 times negative 2. Signs are different. 
imaginary positive and negative. So it's negative 4 times 2, which is 8. Bring down the multiply, bring down the minus 2. Notice how I neatly lined up all the multiplies and the negative 2s right underneath each other. Looks neat, looks professional, looks slick. Here you have, anyways, back to the question. Negative and a negative. Signs are the same. So the answer is positive. Positive what? 8 times 2, 16. Done. So that's the kind of work I expect you to show on the skill testing questions below. Here they are. Only three of them. This, this, and that. Now, some of you may not know what's going on here. This is not negative 10 minus 10 minus 10. Whenever you have numbers in brackets and there's nothing really in between, it means multiply. So if you feel better, you can put a little time sign here and there and then do the questions. Again, show me the notes along with these questions worked out, correctly done and you can proceed to the worksheet and that is that talk to you very soon bye bye